Yes, thank you very much for staying with us and welcome back uh, to our first segment of the day or our first interview of the day. I'd like to start it with a quote. Do not be afraid of greatness. Some are born great, some achieve greatness, and others have greatness thrashed upon them. Keep away from people who try to belittle your ambitions. These are words of Dr. Robert Osoro, who is in studio with me as a psychologist, a, co a corporate trainer, and uh, a counselor in general. Not to forget a uh, minister of the word, Karibu Sana. Asante Sana. All right, your camera is number four. Uh, you have so many titles. I'd like you to list all of them as you introduce yourself to the people officially. Thank you for giving this opportunity. Just off the mic, steady. Thank you for giving this opportunity this morning, mm -hmm. even to be in the studio mm -hmm. and uh, to introduce myself. Uh, so my name is uh, Dr. Roberto Soro. Mm -hmm. I'm a... Uh, a motivational speaker, an inspirational speaker. Mm -hmm. I'm an author whereby mm -hmm. I've written a book called uh, uh, Destined for Greatness. Mm -hmm. I'm also a pastor. Mm -hmm. I'm a reverend in a Destiny Resolution Center, mm -hmm. International Tawara. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm also a professional mm -hmm. in uh, psychology, that is psychological counseling. Mm -hmm. So I've been able to differentiate between the ministry and the business part mm -hmm. uh, in the entrepreneur side. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm also, I've done a number of courses that mm -hmm. uh, which leads me to such uh, positions uh, because mm -hmm. I've done uh, counseling psychology, mm -hmm. BA, and I've also done uh, uh, business management, mm -hmm. that's administration, BA, that's in, from US, uh, mm -hmm. Pioneer University, mm -hmm. and also in theology mm -hmm. to PhD mm -hmm. now, which gave me the title of uh, a doctorate. Mm -hmm and a number of causes like security and management. So I've been working in security firm or uh -huh. in a security sector uh -huh. as a private employee for over six years in the country and out of the country. Uh -huh. So I understand much better of safety, uh -huh. uh, security, mm -hmm. uh, investigations and other areas. Yes. So I'm privileged to be all round uh -huh. in the professions. An all-rounded brother. You are a family man as well. I'm a family man. I'm mm -hmm. married uh -huh. and have kid. All right. Yeah. Shout out to them. I hope one at Shazama. Uh, yeah, they are watching. They are watching they us. Are really out to our salimia yeah. with uh, in due time. Uh, sure. All right. So uh, that's why I had to give you a chance to introduce yourself. The the list is endless. And uh, at a very young age, you've uh, tried to vie for office as well. Yeah, sure. How have you managed to do all these things first? Uh, at I th this age? I think the inspirational uh, mm -hmm. comes from the scars that which you go through because mm -hmm. uh, my book that which I've written is mm -hmm. called Destined for Greatness because mm -hmm. I wrote this book on 2014 mm -hmm. during that time I was working as a safety officer mm -hmm. in uh, Doha, that's mm -hmm. Qatar, mm -hmm. uh, in the airport. Mm -hmm. And then I realized uh, the steps that which I moved. My mm -hmm. first topic uh, was uh, uh, every scar as a star. Mm -hmm. So I was a standard three dropout mm -hmm. uh, when I was young and I lost my dad. Mm -hmm. I was three years old. Mm -hmm. So all my brothers, who were a family of eight, all my brothers, my sisters, they did not go beyond standard eight. Mm -hmm. So during that time, I was not able to continue with the school. Mm -hmm. I just decided to be at home, but mm -hmm. I thought, no, I have to go somewhere and do something, then I went to my mother's place. I was mm -hmm. able to go to standard four. And I, I was doing odd jobs just like, uh, you can imagine a standard three boy, mm -hmm. just uh, collecting maize. You know, mm -hmm. when you have uh, put the maize, mm -hmm. those which are remaining on the shamba, I mm -hmm. was carrying sugar cane and I sell, mm -hmm. so carrying what you call carrying guru and sell. Mm -hmm. Then all throughout to standard six and seven, then by then I got a job of kinyosi, just mm -hmm. shaving. I'm an expert of my shaver. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I shave myself. Mm -hmm. Then I started shaving when I was uh, in uh, primary school, mm -hmm. seven and eight. Mm -hmm. In form one, I was able so to continue shaving, mm -hmm. like I shave uh, one At time. At this time, you're supporting yourself through school? Yeah, I was schooling myself mm -hmm. in primary and high school and mm -hmm. university. Wow. Because uh, my single mother could not be able to do that. We were a family of eight. Uh, in high school, maybe you're mature enough to understand the importance of education in sure. university the same. In primary school, what was your motivation to go back to school? My motivation was uh, like everyone in our community, mm -hmm. uh, there was a challenge of completing standard eight. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, no, I think I can do something different. Mm -hmm. At that age, mm -hmm. Because I remember the first time when I was standard one, I was able to to make uh, uh, to pan charcoal, mm -hmm. 
and my first uniform I sold charcoal to buy mm -hmm. standard one. Mm -hmm. Then uh, I had an inspiration mm -hmm. that one day I want to be someone. There's mm -hmm. that question we used to be asked in primary school that what you would like to be one day, mm -hmm. whom do you want to be? And I never wanted that dream to die. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it never died, and you're here now. Uh, fast forward, you have up to uh, four undergraduate degrees. Do we? You have four degrees now. Yeah, there are three. Th uh, three degrees. Yes. And a PhD. Yeah. And you're about to graduate. In this December, yeah. Um, With your master's. On 6th of December. All right. I will be having a graduation for master's. Wonderful, man. That's, that is a journey in itself. Uh, huh. One thing I'd like to, to focus on sure. is your book, Destined for Greatness. Uh, it's a motivational book. It's a motivational, inspirational book. Inspirational book. Inspirational. Inspirational book, yeah. for sure. Uh, looking at the book, I've seen you quote the Bible from time to time. Sure. Uh, the question is, what is the link between religion and greatness and success? I've realized that uh, the scripture has become my inspirational. Mm -hmm. Even being stand firm in prima school, mm -hmm. it was the foundation that was, which was laid on me mm -hmm. when I was young. Mm -hmm. It's what gave me the inspirational. And every great man in this world, he must be very firm in the religion or in Christianity. Mm -hmm. As a Christian, I have a number of people like David, mm -hmm. like uh, Paul, many people that who made it in life, mm -hmm. their inspirational was from the word of God. Mm -hmm. So I use the word of God. If most of my motivational talks mm -hmm. or inspirational talks, they come from the scripture. Mm -hmm. Sure. So everything is in the scripture. Sure. So am I right to say this book is only for Christians? No. Mm -hmm. This book, uh, it has gone thousands of books. Mm -hmm. Muslims are buying it. Mm -hmm. Hindus have bought it. Mm -hmm. Because what they are looking at, mm -hmm. the content which is inside there, mm -hmm. because the motive of the book is not to make someone maybe to just uh, to be a Christian, oh, to align but with to the see religion, what yeah. has made them, uh, has made me to move forward. Right. For instance, everyone, a Christian, all quotes the, 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 the quotes of Muhammad Ali, mm -hmm. and he's not a Christian, mm -hmm. but in my book, I've quoted mm -hmm. him because of the content, uh -huh. the message that he left. All right, so the message is always more important uh, than even the person who yeah. brought the message. Sure. Focus on what is lying in the message. Sure. Uh, leave alone uh, the character of the person, where the person is from. The message is the most important thing. No. Uh -huh. The character and the person must be connected uh -huh. with the message. Uh -huh. Because if you are giving a message that which does not go with you or go uh -huh. with your which character, which is not an image of yourself, then uh -huh. it's contracting. Uh, it means that what you are writing is not from the art because I've written this book from mm -hmm. my art. All right. Like I've written another book called uh, What You Need to Know Before You Say I Do or mm -hmm. After I Do. Mm -hmm. It has come from my family, mm -hmm. the experience in marriage mm -hmm. and in relationship because uh, in that area of uh, counseling psychology, mm -hmm. uh, I'm actually speci specialized in marriage counseling, mm -hmm. marriage and family mm -hmm. counseling. So uh, you must people must see you first mm -hmm. from the example. By the time they go to read, mm -hmm. it is the picture that which they, 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 they see. Wonderful. So you practice what you preach. You that practice is what, what you preach. You are preaching. Yeah. All right, so we have a lot of viewers that tune in on Tuesday uh, for inspiration and sure. just to get stories of other entrepreneurs. We have so many entrepreneurs or aspiring entrepreneurs who are watching right now. So we are sure. going to assume uh, they are here with us right now. We are at a sure. conference. Sure. And then you're going to take charge and mm. just take us through uh, how to be an entrepreneur in 2019. Uh, a youth in Kenya. We're saying there's, there, there, there are no opportunities in the sure. country as we speak. Uh, you try to start a business, the system is going to to come against you. Uh, guns blazing. So how, how 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 do you survive as an entrepreneur in this country right now? Let me once again, I mm -hmm. use the scripture as I say that mm -hmm. the Bible speaking Proverbs 22 from within that as a man think it mm -hmm. in verse 7, as a man think it so easy. Mm -hmm. So whatsoever that you think, whatsoever you put in your mind, mm -hmm. that's what happens. I don't see the economy is bad. Mm -hmm. I'm doing greater things. Mm -hmm. uh, the other day, I was uh, building a church. Mm -hmm. uh, it took just one week, mm -hmm. and I completed it. Mm -hmm. 
300 to 400 seater mm -hmm. and uh, there was no arambe there was mm -hmm. nothing mm -hmm. and still the economy is bad mm -hmm. so why do i say this mm -hmm. as you think what you think it is what will happen you know you must have a mind of entrepreneurship mm -hmm. and you must use every obstacle mm -hmm. to be an opportunity to make uh, something happen mm -hmm. i always tell uh, i'm a mentor mm -hmm. of uh, young entrepreneurs mm -hmm. i'm also have a group of people mm -hmm. i'm mentoring in writing books mm -hmm. i always tell them that if there is a challenge somewhere mm -hmm. know that there is a solution coming from it mm -hmm. and it makes you to learn something new mm -hmm. so with the economy it has nothing to do with the success of a person mm -hmm. because there is people when you say you don't have money there's people who have money mm -hmm. when you say your business is not growing there is people their business is working well mm -hmm. or doing well then that means there's something wrong with you mm -hmm. that's where it comes with the i connect with our psychological counseling or with the because with the uh, it, it depends with the the, the, the the person's mind and the people say that they are affected with the economy of this uh, nation mm -hmm. but i always tell them it is the state of your mind mm -hmm. that which observes them because you can like what you want to observe and mm -hmm. what you don't like to observe Thank you very much for that. So your mind is very powerful too. Your mind is very powerful too, mm -hmm. sure. And focus, where you put your focus is where you're going to end up. You have to put that focus ahead mm -hmm. and also see the success always. All right, people who have made, people who have made it, uh, what do you think they have in common? You know, people who have made it, mm -hmm. they always don't see the, the, the end. Mm -hmm. They see the pent. Mm -hmm. Because every moment, this is what I was speaking in KUTV on Sunday, mm -hmm. when you are always going ahead and the load is crossed, you don't look away that you start, You don't stand there. You don't go backward. Mm -hmm. But you have to look for an alternative. If there's a pent or there's another route that which you can divert. Mm -hmm. So when you are focused, you divert, but you don't, fo you, you don't divert the focus you mm -hmm. have and the vision and the mission and the dream that which you have. Mm -hmm. But it's only that you focus, uh, you just uh, divert the, the, the route that mm -hmm. you are using to reach there. Mm -hmm. Sure. So people who are successful, they don't see the end, they see the bend. They see the bend, they, uh -huh. they see an opportunity uh -huh. where this end. All right. Sure. Wonderful. I like that so much. Uh, so uh, as we proceed, you say you've, uh, you've published two books so far. I have, uh, have three books. Three books so far. I've published one uh -huh. uh, because I realize this book is moving every time I'm mm -hmm. publishing it. Uh -huh. So I have a book, The, the, the Pursuit of My Vision, uh -huh. and the, the, that one, what you need to know before you say I do mm -hmm. and after I do. All right, tell them how they can get a hold of the books uh, before, as we proceed. Your camera is number four. If somebody would like to get a copy of Destined uh, for Greatness or the rest of the books, uh, digitally or physically. I decided to actually to deliver I personally mm -hmm. the books mm -hmm. and some that are online. But someone still can get me on my social media uh, in Facebook, mm -hmm. uh, Robert Osoro. Robert Osoro. Yeah. If also, they find you on Facebook, they found everything. Yeah, Robert Osoro mm -hmm. or in uh, Beach. Dr. Robert Osoro. All right. But still, I normally give them my number, mm -hmm. which is 254 726 996 302. All right. Uh, uh, critics uh, always ask, how, why do motivational speakers insist on teaching people how to make it when some of them have not even started their own businesses? They don't understand the dynamics of having a business. What do you have to say about I'm always this? against of that mm -hmm. because um, everyone is calling a motivational speaker. Mm -hmm. You know, you cannot, uh, I came up and I, 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 I started a challenge that you cannot be motivating, motivating someone to do something which you have not done it. Mm -hmm. You have to be an example. Mm -hmm. Because when we look at the business, what business? Business is active involving or producing, giving, and purchasing for profit and the creation of wealth. Mm -hmm. So you are just talking, telling people you don't have experience. Mm -hmm. It's just like I'm a professional uh, counselor mm -hmm. in marriage, mm -hmm. and then I'm not married. Mm -hmm. Then it's not complete. Mm -hmm. I must have the experience from that marriage. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to mo to motivational talks, that's mm -hmm. why I change to be inspirational talks. Mm -hmm. I have to inspire them from what I've done. Mm -hmm. So I come up with a campaign called People's Achievement Consultants, mm -hmm. whereby we. We do corporate training, uh, mot uh, the, the motivational talks. Mm -hmm. We do also the, the mentorship. Mm -hmm. So I don't mentor people through the through the what actually I talk or the written mm -hmm. uh, forms, but through the experience of the campaign that which I've opened, mm -hmm. uh, because my campaign mentors young people 
the entrepreneurs, the, 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 the guys who are coming up either in the side of the books or something else. Mm -hmm. You need to show people what you have already done because mm -hmm. monkey see, monkey do. Mm -hmm. So they, you, you, most of the motivational speakers, they are just motivating people. You know, the problem with that, I learned in 2009 when I entered to this industry of motivational talks mm -hmm. or inspirational talks. You motivate someone when someone is getting out of the room is so much motivated. Mm -hmm. But after one day, two days, they are down. Mm -hmm. And when they get down, they are depressed. Mm -hmm. they are, when, when they are depressed, some of them they end up uh, if they have no one that who can uh, lift them up again they end up there mm -hmm. so you need to have something that which you are doing so they are seeing from it even mm -hmm. as you are doing your inspirational talks mm -hmm. it is motivating them as they are seeing also you progressing so motivational speakers who don't run businesses who, or who have never run businesses but teach people how to run businesses are frauds i can say that uh, <laughs> some they are quirks because mm -hmm. You just go and look for materials, uh -huh. just training people. Now, they say that uh, motivational talks is a service. Uh -huh. And they say it's, a, it's, a, it's also a business. Uh -huh. But when we look at the definition of the business, it's saying it is a producing and purchasing for making profit and all. So you must have a product. Uh -huh that which you are selling. Mm -hmm. A service is a product, but it's not enough. It's not supported. Mm -hmm. Because when most guys, they tell me, now you have trained me all this, mm -hmm. they need a job. Mm -hmm. What I do, uh, uh, my company has a recruiting agency mm -hmm. where we recruit guys, mm -hmm. we connect with people who mm -hmm. are, are employing or they need employees. Mm -hmm. We recruit them, we train them, then we give them. At the same time, we do uh, supply. Mm -hmm. We have uh, the COD cash on, on delivery. Mm -hmm. We have also uh, the, the, the other normal supply, mm -hmm. whereby you need the products. I have someone who can supply. So I connect the person with you. Mm -hmm. We are doing the business because at the end of the, 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 the day, mm -hmm. we are the middlemen. Mm -hmm. So you have to pass from us and there's a fee that you pay. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. You uh -huh. see, there's a business there. There's a business being run. Uh, uh, and there's a product there's which a is product exchanged. Which is exchanged and money exchanges yeah. hands as well. Sure. All right. We cannot talk about uh, motivation without addressing the issue of giving up. And yeah. uh, uh, People start off with a lot of passion, with a lot of energy when the idea is being uh, incubated or when the idea is being uh, the first steps yeah, sure. of actualizing the idea. But mm. when you get to the hurdles, uh, you people tend to give up. Not so many startups survive. Sure. Uh, how, do you, how do you face this period where you feel like giving up? Mm but you're not so sure if, you, if you're ready to face the shame that comes with giving up. I think the problem with people when they get into the business, they have mm -hmm. the only, like they're focusing, they're not considering mm -hmm. the business, mm -hmm. they're not considering what will happen in between. Mm -hmm. They just like, when I get to this business, I will make money. Mm -hmm. So they don't have the second thought mm -hmm. that what if the business fails, mm -hmm. will it mean that I will end up? No. Mm -hmm. You, have you to need to look at all the possible outcomes you have to look at all the possible outcomes uh -huh. if it comes this what will happen so that you cannot be uh, affected psychologically mm -hmm. and in any business we have what you call the management mm -hmm. We have the business plan. Mm -hmm. We have the proposal. Mm -hmm. When you conceive the business idea, mm -hmm. you must write a proposal. Which kind of business do you need? Mm -hmm. Where do you want to put them? Because mm -hmm. we have the four Ps. Mm -hmm. We have the price. We have the price. We have the promotion. Mm -hmm. We have the, 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 the four Ps, actually. The mm -hmm. price, the press, the promotion, and the... The, the promotion that mm -hmm. which you are going to how you are going to advertise them mm -hmm. whether there is a competition mm -hmm. where you are going to put your 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 your, your business mm -hmm. and the pricing yeah, you are going pricing. to press right, so with the, the people who are selling the there important piece of business now people they see because most of the people the business they are doing because you are selling uh, you have a shop mm -hmm. they want to have a shop you have a kinyosi, they want to have a kinyosi. You have a, maybe a cosmetic, someone want to have a cosmetic. Mm -hmm. The person has not done a research. The person has not, uh, doesn't have experience of mm -hmm. what they want to do. Mm -hmm. So you are just venturing to a business, you are getting a loan mm -hmm. or you have some cash, uh, then you start a business. Mm -hmm. But you have to consider all those things. Mm -hmm. And the management is also one of the factors. But because mm -hmm. when we look at what is management, management is the art of things done through and within the people in an organized group. Mm -hmm. You have to know how you are going to manage them. Mm -hmm. with, you start with the time, mm -hmm. you start with the, the people you are organizing, mm -hmm. the human resource you are mm -hmm. using, all those that are needed. Mm -hmm. However, 
when you start a business, you need someone that will guide you. Actually, what we do in people Achievement Consultants, most mm -hmm. of the people we guide, how they, are, they can start business, what they need in place. So what I'm getting from you is mentorship is very important. You need somebody who's guiding you and mentoring you in the process. And mm -hmm. all these things can be avoided by proper preparation. Sure. Mm -hmm. You need proper preparation. Mm -hmm. You need to know what you, need, you want to do. Mm -hmm. You know, most of the people here even if ask you, I can realize that you have like 10 business. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have opened 10 business before. Mm -hmm. Why? Maybe it was a season of uh, December, Christmas. Mm -hmm. You started selling flowers and clothes. Mm -hmm. Then it came a season of January. Mm -hmm. uh, students or people are going to school. Mm -hmm. You start selling school uh, uniforms. Demand then there's a supply. season of uh, uh. You are changing with, you know, with that without consistency. Mm -hmm. Because you must be consistent in one product mm -hmm. until it gets to the mind of the people. Mm -hmm. It is not the name you use. It is not the business you do. But it is the consistency of what you are doing on how you market it, on how Mm -hmm. you do it until it gets to the people until it sticks so consistency and proper preparation you can never go wrong with that sure all right but sometimes you find that you are properly prepared you have a business plan you have everything in check you have your finance manager in check mm. but things don't turn out as expected maybe the human resource mm -hmm. Uh, management, it mm. can be a problem mm. because when we talk about the human resource uh, management, we, uh, this is actually it refers to the function within an organization mm -hmm. that actually focuses on the recruitment management and providing the direction to people who work in your organization. Mm -hmm. So you must be providing the direction, having the the the, it can, the resources can be the people, can be the finances, mm -hmm. and all. So when you start a business, people start with high, higher capitals. Mm -hmm whereby they are not able to manage. Mm -hmm. But any business needs to start from down mm -hmm. because it's only the grief starts from up. Mm -hmm. You have to start from down so that you can learn mm -hmm. on how to manage the people, the, the human resource mm -hmm. uh, which you are working with, how they are managing, whether mm -hmm. it can be possible or not. It's not about the, the, the huge man. That's why I say how you can start business with capital, uh, zero capital, mm -hmm. and still it can work. Oh, yes. This is a topic you're addressing. Uh, in this book as well. Sure. Uh, starting a business with zero capital. Sure. All right. Capital is a factor <laughs> to be considered <laughs> when starting a business. It's sure. one of the factors uh, that you really, really need to consider when starting a business. How sure. do you start a business without capital, zero capital? You have to start with a proposal. Mm -hmm. Does the proposal need any money? Mm -hmm. No. What's a proposal? A proposal is a collection of ideas, mm -hmm. objectives, and strategies of a business or entrepreneur establishment. So your idea doesn't need money. Mm -hmm. You need to start with the idea. Mm -hmm. What do I need to do? How do I do it? After you finish that, you have to come up with a plan. Mm -hmm. What's the plan? Mm -hmm. This is a person document that describes the business and the person that identifies the goals of that business. Mm -hmm. Once you have the goals, for example, uh, we are doing what you call the, the resourcing the human. Uh, maybe uh, the, you are selling clothes. My colleague needs uh, uh, to buy clothes, mm -hmm. but doesn't know where to get from. Mm -hmm. I'm the middleman. Mm -hmm. I can tell you, sure, I have a client who can buy. Mm -hmm. I will talk with you. The, the type of clothes you need, I will go with my colleague. I talk with him the kind of clothes that uh, uh, he is actually he needs to buy. But you, I know the clothes that you are selling. I will actually influence him and uh, encourage him to come and buy. I connect him with you. So there's my commission from you because I've given you a grant. There's my commission from him because I've also shown him where to buy the clothes. Mm -hmm. Do I need money there? No, you don't need money. For I you. need the idea. Uh -huh. That's you why need we need idea. business proposal. But uh, we, uh, we can agree that not all businesses can start with zero capital. I, I can give you another example. Uh -huh. You are a professional, maybe a media personality, mm -hmm. or you are uh, a doctor, mm -hmm. but you don't have money mm -hmm. to start a clinic. Then here comes, I'm not a professional in uh, uh, medics, mm -hmm. but I have money. So you can share with me, mm -hmm. there is something that we can do mm -hmm. and can give us money. Mm -hmm. Then I will ask you, what is it? Mm -hmm. Uh, the clinics are doing well. If you buy these drugs, this price, and you mm -hmm. can say this, uh, this price, mm -hmm. the injection, and all, you explain all what is happening within the clinic or mm -hmm. the pharmacy. 
Then, because I have the resource, the, 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 the finance, mm -hmm. you have the idea. Mm -hmm. Then we come up together. If I put the business, you will use your, your, your human power resource mm -hmm. uh, working there. I use my money. Mm -hmm. Is it the, not the way that you can start earning? Uh -huh. I, I, I see that, but that is uh, where you look for an, an investor to invest in your idea. Sure. So there's two ways you can start a business without capital. But, sure. Uh, this is capital from your own pocket. So one way is to look for an investor, present to an investor. Yeah. Uh, or the other way is to just use your brain. Sure. And find ways of being a middleman, being a sure. trader. Sure. Oh, for sure. Remind them your social media handle. Uh, again, your camera is number four. How they can interact with you as we have this conversation. In my uh, Facebook, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's Robert Osoro. Mm -hmm. All in my Twitter is at Dr. Robert Osoro. Mm -hmm. And also in uh, Instagram, it uh, at People's Achievement. Mm -hmm. Also in Facebook, you can find us uh, in the page, Dr. Robert Osoro. Mm -hmm. Sure. Thank you very much, Dr. Robert. As we, as we wind up, uh, what is the message, that one message you can give to a viewer who's watching us right now? And uh, is, a, is that a place of hopelessness? I want to encourage someone that mm -hmm. who is doing, who is starting business outside there, mm -hmm. or who is uh, looking for an opportunity or a job. Mm -hmm. Don't look at the negative side of uh, anything that you want to do. Just always focus on the positive side. Don't listen to what people say. I've done this, I've failed, I've done this, I've tried this. Just this were those people. Your characters and their characters, your temperaments and their temperaments, they were different. Mm -hmm. So just do as a person, and as people, they discourage you. As I've written in my book, Destined for Greatness, mm -hmm. I've just said, don't allow people to be rich or you. Mm -hmm. Because people will, most people, when they see you succeed, they will try to be rich or you. They will try to discuss negative about you. Reason less, but focus more. Mm -hmm. Sure. Listen less and focus more. Thank you very much, Mr. Doc uh, Doctor. Uh, sure. Robert Osoro. Uh, when is the next spot that you're going to be speaking uh, so that in case anybody wants to join you, uh, they can? We have uh, actually an intake uh -huh. like this October uh -huh. because uh, we have different classes uh -huh. uh, whereby we are doing mentorship. Uh -huh. We have people who joined this October. Uh -huh. We have another team which are joining because we put them in different because uh -huh. there are stages uh -huh. of learning. Uh -huh. So How many stages of learning? We, we have uh, like four of them. Uh -huh. We have people who have never been in business at mm -hmm. all. We have people who have failed in business. Mm -hmm. We have tried and failed. We have people who have been in business and they want to uh, learn more mm -hmm. and what they need to do. Mm -hmm. And also the last stage, we have the, the managers, the CEOs mm -hmm. uh, group whereby we encourage each other and mm -hmm. we look at what each other has done mm -hmm. and how we can improve. Uh, how long is better. the program? The program takes uh, from one uh, w from one month mm -hmm. to two months mm -hmm. or to three months. It depends mm -hmm. on the time availability of the person. Mm -hmm. sure. And this is at People's Achievement Consultancy Co. Yeah, People's Achievement Consultant Company Limited mm -hmm. is a registered uh, company mm -hmm. whereby we are training, we are recruiting, we are also doing the professional counseling psychology. Mm -hmm. You understand there's a lot of depression, there's mm -hmm. a lot of people talk about the economy, which I tell them to focus on positive. As mm -hmm. much as we are trying to encourage them to focus on positive, still we have such a people who need professional counseling. Mm -hmm. So we also do that professional counseling mm -hmm. and also supply. We connect so the clients. Food, 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 food for the mind. Sure. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a cafe for the mind. Thank you very sure. much for coming, Mr. Robert. We appreciate you so much and keep doing what you're doing. And uh, yes, keep encouraging the youth and keep, uh, keep uh, being destined. For Thank you for the opportunity. Uh -huh. And I believe that we are all destined for greatness. Yes, because greatness is our uh, end of the day, is uh -huh. our portion. And it's sure. our destination for sure. It's our destination. All Until right. you reach your destination, uh -huh. you haven't done anything. Until you reach your destination, you haven't done anything, and greatness is our destination. Uh, we end this with that uh, from Dr. Robert Osoro. My name is Barry Moses, or it's Barry Moses on social media. Alex is coming up next with another powerful interview. You don't want to miss it. Don't go nowhere. Don't touch that dial. Entrepreneurship Tuesday. <laughs>